I went to a doctor. Wow, that's a good segue. I went, I woke up, and this starts scary or gross, but I, it ends fine, so don't. Anyway, I woke up and there was a blister. Uh, right on my dick. And I, uh, don't panic, it's fine. Come on, settle down, we're all doctors. And I, uh, I was like, well, okay. That, I, I remember when this happened, probably a month ago. Now there's a, I guess my, I'm one in three people. I got the herps, you know? Uh, like my number got called, like at a shitty deli. And then, I, so I went to the Planned Parenthood and I was like, ah, help me, help, look at it. I had it out already. And they were like, stay near the door. And, I, and the doctor, I'll never forget, she looked at it right away and she's like, that's a burn, they're singeing. You've burnt uh, your penis. And you guys, I maybe do drink too much, but I, uh, but I also am a good roommate, and so when I use the bathroom to its full potential, and man, do I. I uh, you guys, I don't want to go off on a tangent, but I am, there's something wrong with my BH. It goes, uh, I'm sorry, but I, the other day I made such a mess in the toilet that I had to use the uh, toilet brush on my back. Anyway, no, I don't like, I don't like that joke. Anyway, she... <laughs> So I light a match, and when I use the bathroom, and then I throw it, not in the trash. What are you gonna start a fire? Don't be crazy, you throw it in the toilet, which I was sitting on, so I just kind of made a gap between my legs and threw a match exactly on my dick, like right on it for a second. Uh, not a full second, I wasn't like, one Mississippi, the pain's subsiding. I was like, right away, like, hot dick, duly noted, and I flicked it off, and I heard it go tss in the water and then I passed out on the toilet paper roll. That part's not important. But I forgot about all that until the doctor's like, hey, you burnt your dick, dummy. And, and then I had to be like, you know what? I do now quite vividly remember burning my own penis. I will leave now through the door I came through. Sorry, I tore down these posters. <laughs> then they give you a bag of Condoms, they're like, thanks for coming. Even when I go in just for daily maintenance, or what, what, come on, yearly, uh, they're like, here you go. And there's like 78 condoms in a bag. I don't like getting that many. It's like, oh, I could have a healthy full life and not make it through all these. It's like buying mustard at Costco. It's like, I want this to be my last condom purchase. And then you look in and they're, gr they're gross gone. They're like no brand name, they're colored, they're like yellow and green and oh great, I like to pretend my dick's at a birthday party. Like I don't fucking need, you know what I'm saying? This is a weird thing to take a stand. Red condoms, get the hell out of here. No, no, you're like heat of the moment, it's kind of dark, you, it's, it's okay, I got something. It's, and just red, even your dick's like, I'm done, I wait, I'll. I don't want to be, and you, and you can tell, it's like, oh, it's a little nice red, yeah, who wants some, who wants some cat dick? I'm sorry, yeah, I don't, I didn't want to do the cat dick, but it, uh, let's talk about cat dicks for a minute. They are the worst dicks. When dicks got divvied out to animals, cats got a raw deal, literally. They are barbed, they are the worst, cat dicks. Uh, break it down. Red, bright red, pointy, gross. I just spit because I'm salivating in not a I'm hungry way, in a I might throw up way because I can't stop thinking about cat dicks. Barbed, I mentioned that. Shiny, we don't need pointy, shiny red cat dicks. I'm sweating now because I'm talking about cat dicks and I really wish I hadn't started in the first place. The point is, cats are great, I like them. I do. A lot of people are like, no, nah, cats are dicks. You're a dick and you pet them wrong. You can't, a lot of people are like, oh, nice cat, ah, and they scratches you. Yeah, you can't get all tenacious on that D. You can't, 